Hey YouTube, it's Bella from Kids Life and Style, and I'm super excited because I have a very special guest with me today. This is Amy Davidson. You may recognize her from Eight Simple Rules, but also Good Faith Casting just cast her in a film here in New Mexico called Rose. So welcome, Amy. Hi, thank you. <laughs> and who do we have here? This is Lennox. Say, hashtag stud. <laughs> He's a stud, ladies. <laughs> and how old is he? Lennox is eight months old, and he is 23 pounds. So he is not small. Um, he was actually five pounds when oh. he was born, and now this dude has caught up for last time. Oh. Right? Well, Amy is a full-time working actress in LA, and now she's a full-time mom. So we're gonna take you through some quick, easy, fun workouts that you can do with your child, or if you're just at home and want a really fun, full-body workout. So let's get started. Okay, well, we're ready to start our workout. Amy's got Lennox all strapped into her, so mommies, make sure you have a nice, good strap or something that you can hold them. I'm gonna use a water bottle as weights, if you don't have a kid, that's okay. You can grab some dumbbells, some water bottles, or just use body weights. Let's get started. Okay, to begin, we're gonna start with a simple air squat. So with squatting, you wanna remember to put the weight in your heels and think about driving your hips back. Uh, be sure not to lean forward because that can cause some back injury and nobody wants back injuries. Then we're gonna move into a step back lunge with a kick. So all of these exercises shoot for three rounds for 10 on each leg or 10 sets uh, or reps. <laughs> um, then we're gonna switch and we're again that step back lunge and we're gonna drive up and feel it in our glutes and our quads. Uh, and I feel bad, Amy's got Lennox who's 23 pounds so he is a lot of weight. <laughs> we're gonna move into curtsy lunges. So we're gonna do alternating. Uh, again, 10 each leg for three rounds. This is gonna help work those inner outer thighs as well as our glutes. Cause I know ladies, we wanna build up that booty. Now we are going to move into a squat with a side kick. Again, we're still working those inner and outer thighs as well as our glutes so we can build up that booty. And now it's time to take a cute little baby break and look at how adorable Lennox is. Now that we had our baby break, we're gonna move into 10 walkouts. This is a full body workout that is gonna just get your heart rate pumping. Um, that way we can have a nice good sweat during our workout. So shoot for 10 walkouts and for three rounds. It was really cute seeing Amy be able to work out with her baby. Lennox was so cute. He was just rolling around having so much fun. Then we're gonna move into a 90 degree crunch. So again, Amy's got Lennox on her who is 23 pounds. So she had a much more challenging crunch than I did, um, but shoot for 25 crunches for three rounds just so we can work out our abs a little bit at the end of this workout. And then to finish up this video, we just stretched it out. This is so important stretching before your workout just because you want to make sure that your muscles are warmed up and ready. Also, it's important to stretch after your workout as well. Um, that way you aren't as sore the next Day. So this isn't something I talk about a lot in my video, so if you're interested in seeing just a video on stretching or foam rolling, please comment below or give this video a thumbs up and I will make sure to put that in the next couple videos of me just stretching and showing you some of the best stretches that I like using. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video and hear some advice from Amy Davidson. Thanks for watching. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed the workout. Uh, it's really cool because you can do that anywhere. You can grab your bottle of water, you can grab your baby and you can work <laughs> out. Um, so as Amy is a very successful actress in LA, so I'm just gonna ask her a few questions to kind of give anyone out there some advice out there if they want to get into acting. So how long have you been in this industry? Oh gosh. Well, I moved to LA when I was 19. So, um, yeah, I was, I was turning 20 and kind of just started working right off the bat, but I didn't do much while I was in Arizona. Oh, okay. I, I grew up dancing, so I was always on stage and doing that kind of thing, but um, it was really taking that leap to Los Angeles that did it. That's a big leap to LA. If anybody yeah. who's gone out there, it's um, a lot of hustle, and a grind, um, and a strong work, work ethic. <laughs> so do you remember what was like the, your first gig that you got that was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool, <laughs> as an actress? <laughs> you know, I, I was young and the Olsen twins were like a big deal. And I remember I started recurring on their show. 
Oh. Yeah, and um, I'm naturally like a dirty blonde. No, 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 I'm like, I was born red, but I pay for this now, and you don't, which is so <laughs> annoying. But, um, and I went red for their show. Oh, okay. And it was just really fun. It really introduced me into the world of comedy, and that was my first, like, oh my goodness, I'm working. Nice. Yeah. Um, so where should we expect to see you next? Where are you trying to head? I mean, you are a full-time mom. Are we going to get Lennox into acting with you? <laughs> or are you going to go more film? What's kind of your plan or your goals with stepping forward? Um, you know, we were talking yesterday about my five-year plan. I would love to do another sitcom. I think that's, like, the best schedule <laughs> In that's Hollywood. hard. That's hard. A live audience. <laughs> Which is like amazing because you kind of have like tidbits of theater and TV film at yeah. the same time. But I think I would like to do another sitcom. I really was like not anti, but once my other sitcom ended, I really wanted to just be taken seriously as a dramatic actress. Mm -hmm. And so I really kind of pushed away. But now I'm like, okay, I want to bring that back in. And then I want to do really challenging dramatic roles in mm -hmm. film on my hiatus. Yeah, I try to push the boundaries a little bit. I totally want to push Do the harder boundaries. roles. Yeah, I want to I wanna do the roles that other people are afraid of. I know she can do it. So <laughs> I have a lot of actors and models that follow my channel. Um, what would be your best piece of advice to give them to help pursue their career? I would say passion and perseverance. I, I'm in this for the long haul. You either decide that you want it and you go with the roller coaster ride, or you don't. And if there's something else you can do and you would be happy doing it, I say do it because it is so competitive. And you know, some people allow it to be soul sucking, but you just can't. You just have to know who you are. You have to know who you are in the industry and what stories you want to tell, and embrace your individuality, and just continue to believe. I mean, I've been on this roller coaster. It's been up and down for many years. And when it's good, it's good. And when it's slow, <laughs> it's slow. But Know that work is always coming. And life happens in between. The best parts of life happen in between. And don't miss those. No, no. I mean, I took, you know, I fully enjoyed my pregnancy, and I took the first six months off to be with my son, and Rose was my first job back, so. Oh, really? And he yeah. came to set, didn't he? And he came. He came to set to see yeah. mommy work. Yeah. <laughs> so, it all works out. It all works out. <laughs> I mean, so to take on that, you know, continue hustling, continue grinding. She moved out to LA when she was uh, 19 by herself. Um, and look at the tremendous amount of success that she's had uh, because she worked hard uh, and she continued to follow her dreams. So I hope that you all do the same. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much, Amy, for being on my channel. <laughs>